Bound's gonna have the Bulldog in hand, and uh, he's gonna be able to get aggressive. Snakebite just about gets away, and that's gonna allow oh! the reversal. Snakebite gets the assistance, Overshield's popping, and that's the perfect time to get three members of Phase down. Over here, but there is some players down below making their way toward the Rocket Alley. Thanks. One ends up going down. Snakebite now looking for the second go. one, able to get the double kill. E United going multiple oh! down, and the third one's gonna come in. That's gonna be a triple kill. With all the damage that Frosty was doing, the only problem really was no one was cleaning up the kills. Maybe Royal 2 is going to be able to get a touch, grabs that flag, but you can see there was one player still alive who was there for C9, but there's Lethal getting a touch as well, and it's just a battle of scrappy caps at the moment. It looks like Cloud9 have managed to get control, but as I say that, Snake Fight with the double forces it up the street stairs, and he's going to be able to tie things up. Wow, tie game here, Sentinels with the unbelievable. Are able to break through on one side, they don't have control of Tram. Snake Bite's waiting. You see him looking at his teammate's screen. He's coordinating when this push is going to happen. He wants to see what his teammate is going to do, and then he'll go in there and respond. He's also looking at Death Screen. Frosty has a small glimpse of Death Screen to tell if someone's right around there the corner, whether he can jump up and surprise him. There's the double. He knows Snipe Down's a little weak, and he says, I don't need a challenge, don't get time. And that's going to basically be a triple. Unofficial. Give him the medal, unofficial triple. Two players on each side go down. Make that three for Cloud9. As all four alive for Set those Cloud9. Unfortunate times for those deaths right there. Snake by able to grapple the ball to Turbine, grapple his way out of harm's way, and grapple his way no once way. again. Getting out of Turbine what? with the off ball. Snake by making it look easy. For play there, just catching him in the middle. And I gotta be really concerned about Snipe Down. He's still not dead. We also have that over shield. Big shot from Snake Bite. Looking for another one as well. Potentially, but Rain did manage to gain possession of it. A big push now for Snake Bite to just challenge Snipe Down as he looks to get some high ground positioning. Spawns are coming by tower. Great maneuvering, but now he's shot somehow inside. No scope on Pride. Dude. Snake Bite has hit and dealt so much damage when he's just one shot here with so many crucial pings on players. Oh, Captain, my Captain! Snakebite actually was able to pick those up. Let's see what he can do with them. Big double kill! Hail Mary gets the triple kill! Snakebite looking for the overkill! Snipe down left alone and ties in big time overkill for Snakebite! Never dies. He stays alive, he hits the shots, and there's a reason why he's such a main oh player. God. Snakebite! Gets a nice skewer kill, looking for the double, but able to get out of there with his life. Repulses the nade, does it all Whoa. to perfection. Wraps around, gets the kill, moves the flag. Snake fight playing the most efficient Halo. And this is going to be a great setup here for yes. Sentinel. You got the heat, you've got the snipe. Oh, it's all headshots for Snake fight. He can only find two. And the performance is like this. Optic cannot look past the mistake fight. Gets a running riot and a triple kill here in the winner's quarterfinal. Overshot grab for FaZe. And they wrap for the Rockets as well. This is brilliant from FaZe. They get all the power you could ask for. And now SSG in trouble. Renegade flights forward. The trade comes in though. Should not have traded. Bound goes down 47-47 here. Oh, they're opposed to the grenade from Snake Light. What a hero play. Two dead. One player still on green. Eco goes down. FaZe. From the ashes, he just need one kill! Penguin's in trouble. He's in the needle pit. Somehow stays alive. Oh, him down. Snake Fight is the man to do the job! An unbelievable play to close out game two. Troll, as long as they play this well, but look at the clock. Three seconds left. They say, FaZe, you gotta get in the hill and I've got a rocket launcher. I don't think it's over. Not again on streets now. Oh, we can, once again. Still not over. Just like it every time. Still not over, though. be zero. Faze is still on the hill, still not over. Something about Optic Gaming on Streets King of the Hill. Don't you dare count their chickens before they're hatched. Zero seconds. Faze has for to Optic stay in, and it's too dead for Optic Gaming. Wait, wait, wait. It's too dead not for Optic. Again. There is no way this is happening. There is no way this is about to happen. Here he comes. Two dead still for Optic. Will it be three dead? Will it be three dead? It's going to be four dead! dead. It's four dead! Faze does it! They're going to get this hill. Not over ah. yet. Zero seconds left. I can't believe it. Not what? again. They're tied two to two, and that will be.
still radioactive there with the microwave. And guess what? Off the back, no surprise. It's a rocket grab for Snakebite. He takes to the heavens. Players here on back A as well as PD. He might be able to finish this here. Line up a triple kill, Snakebite. There's another one in front of you. It's a simple job to close it out with the trip ski and force the phase over toward the gold side. That could be huge, but it starts with what? the seaside control. And oh my gosh! The Jonathan Wallet. Could be another one added here by Snakebite as well. Turns a green guy oh. into a sniper rifle and almost turns a double into a triple to PD so that they can get those spawns. And that is why you are seeing Snakebite now controlling this side of the map alongside his teammate Frosty. Rocket's coming up as well. Royal 2 will probably get them. But oh, actually, what? Because he's dead. Snakebite actually, I think, threw the shroud screen so that the rockets could be tossed. In the end, though, we'll have to track exactly where they might have gone. A little 360 there for Snakebite. The shroud screen, of course, continuing to cause chaos. By the way, uh, Snakebite's 20. And nine. I don't know how I didn't notice that. He's 20 and 9. Everybody with 38 seconds left in this game have done a great job of giving the advantage in numbers back over to SSG. It's a great route here from Snakebite. Eco might not be ready for it. Those are good shots. He's going to get extra damage as well. And he stays alive. Great work here from Snakebite, but he's going to need the help to push. He's going to need the help, and he has to wait. The problem is that SSG now control this green hill again. They're about 80% of the way to doing it. They're about 80% of the way to capping it. And Eco is going to be taken down. And just at the last second again the break comes in from phase clan ssg four dead and phase now have a chance to cap this hill look at the patience the timing the discipline from snakebite he knows exactly when to go up to top middle as well they're playing game clock here phase they have the lead there's only four seconds left in this game and ssg have to fly they have to flood but they don't have the time to really impact this game what kind of angle is snakebite going to take here on the nest and green spawners one headshot here and maybe we might be thinking about phase running away with this one Winning a Game 7 Slayer once again! Oh my goodness! Sends one to the heavens!